Alright, so, at the whole crew. Mm -hmm. We started? Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, Shalom. Love you. Yeah, we are the real Hebrew Israelites. Uh, yeah, we come in sick. week in and week so, out. Yeah, Prophesy the downfall, destruction of this place. You know, in season and out of season. Might I add, man? You know, first off, we want to give all glory, all honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. The salutations and peace to the Akim out there, which is where the truth is sincerity across the four corners of the earth. You know, we out here another week, man. You know, we're up here in Cleveland, Ohio, where it's 18 degrees, but it feel like one. Yo, know? <laughs> yo, know, if it feel like one, that's what it is, man. We gonna do this word, man. We gonna be instant, in season, not a season. You know, make our call to the election short. You know, and we just gonna go, go, go from there. Uh, Second Timothy chapter 4. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, verse 2. It says, Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So you gotta be ready to do this word. Whether it be in season, whether you know the spring, summertime, or out of season, which is the fall, you know, the winter time. But it ain't much fruit out here. You still gotta be apt to teach, man. It said reprove, rebuke. With all long suffering and doctrine, you gotta suffer in this thing. That work is pay, patience, man. Yeah, you know what I'm and with the doctrine, man. You know, with the doctrine, how about Shimmy I was shy, man? All right, the doctrine that he gave to uh, 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 Abba Bibbins, man. You know, who was reincarnated as uh, who was re Elijah, man. Elijah the prophet, man. You know, that's the doctrine that you gotta uh, reprove with, man. You gotta correct with that doctrine, man, and things of that nature, man. No, because Jake, that's the thing about it. Jake don't want to be reproved, man. Jake don't want to be corrected, man. You know, it's grievous unto them that we come out here, you know, some young brothers out here, you know, telling them what they doing wrong in their life. Because Jake think they doing everything right, man. You know? It's Jeremiah 5 and 14. It says, Wherefore, thus says the Lord, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. Huh. And this people would, and it shall devour them. Yep. Hey, because this word in our mouth is a uh, uh, fire, man. Like the scripture said, man. You know, and this people would, man. Two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they're the wood, man. You know? Hey, Esau and these other heathen nations as well, man. They're the wood, man. And this word of the Heavenly Father is devouring and condemning their ass, man. You know? It's rebuking them, man. You know? They can't take this word, man. It's too, it's too harsh, man. You know? Got young brothers like us coming out here telling them how they living their life wrong, man. You know, even though we used to do the same sorts of things, man. You know, but we don't run to the same excess of right as them no more, man. You know, and they think that's strange that some young brothers like us, you know, never went to college or school or, you know, we don't got no degree in, 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 in uh, 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 what's that shit called? Theology, you know, we don't got no degree. Who taught us these things? Hey, we don't got no history degree. I think we know things about history. This, that, you know, and we coming out here, we consuming Jake up, man. You know, we burning they ass up with this word, man. You know, yeah, come, come, yeah. We the salt, man. Come, like, hey, the scripture referred to us as the salt, man. You know, and Jake is the ice, like the brother just said, man. You know, Shalom. How about you? Shalom. Go ahead. I, I, this, this is Jerry Rico. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 10. South America, Chile, there. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt say what you're people, talking about. All these words, they cheat on bad they like they cheat on here. Wherefore, hath the Lord pronounced all but this great evil against us? Uh -huh. For what is our iniquity? Right. For what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord for our power? Yeah, that's what they asking us, man. When we come out here and, and show them all these words, man, you know? Jake saying, what, what what we do, man? Why the Lord so mad at us, man? You know? Why he, why he going why he gonna destroy the earth, man? You know? They ain't paying it's attention the to the signs the of the times, man. Hey, hold your peace, man. Hold your peace, man. We recording, man. Relax. You know? Hold your peace, man. Y'all brothers showing love. Hey man, listen man. Hold your peace, man. You been drinking, man? Yeah, just hold your no, peace. No, I'm saying man. I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying, but it's the devil that's the one. Go ahead, bring that back. Come on.
Hey, hey relax, man. And this will come to pass. Yeah. When thou shalt sow the seed. The devil make us go against each other. Somebody get Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. And this will come to pass. When thou shalt sow this people. All these words. And they shall say unto thee. Word for it. Have the Lord pronounced. All this great evil against us. Yeah, right. And Psalms 121. And that's what Jake is saying, man. For what is our iniquity? Yeah, that's what Jake is saying. What is our iniquity, right. man? Why yeah. the Lord gonna destroy this place, man? Trying to show Why y'all out here condemning us, man? You know, that's what Jake, that's what Jake, they, they got an excuse for everything, man. You know, and that's one of their excuses, man. We ain't did that wrong, you know? They think, hey, like the scripture said, if they say that they ain't sin, man, then the Lord is a liar, man. You know, Jake think they don't commit no sins, man. They think they don't commit no inequity and things of that nature, man. You know, like this Jake right here, man, he doing evil, man, when he don't even know it, man. You know, the scripture tell you to keep thy foot when you come into the house of the Most High, man, but he don't have no understanding of the scriptures, man. He holds there for doing it, man. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. I'm so glad. Keep thy like foot. We're not going to the house of right now. God. Yeah, the scriptures say keep thy foot, man. Go you don't have no understanding, man. That's the thing about it. Because if you did, you would listen to what we're telling you, man. The scriptures say keep thy what foot when you come into the house of the Lord, man. Keep going. All right. No, I keep going. Said, That's and be more ready like to hear than to give sacrifices of food. The scripture said, hey, the scripture said, be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear than to get a sacrifice of fools, man. You're a fool. You don't know nothing, man. Be more ready to hear than to get a sacrifice of fools. I just said, I'm thanking you for being out here doing it. Not that they do eat. Yeah, man, you consider that you ain't doing no evil, man. You're not doing no good to us, man. Speaking over us while we out here teaching, man. Keep it moving, man. Go ahead, it. bring that out. I, I stopped there. Matter of fact, hold it. Thank y'all for showing love. Keep going. Hey, y'all uh, telling me I'm going to turn you off. Hey, it's our sin. You ain't even heard what I said. We have committed against the whole world. I should go and strike our call. Keep going. Then shall thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, yeah. saith the Lord. Yeah, right. Yourself, That's what we telling these jakes out here, man. Our forefathers forsaken Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and we got to bear their inequity, man. Just like the so-called white man, y'all going to bear the inequity of y'all forefathers, man. For what they did to our people, man. All right, let's set the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Huh? And walk after other gods. Uh-huh. And have served them. Yep. And have worshipped them. Come. And have forsaken me. Yeah, that's why y'all, that's why the most high, hey, he ain't dealing with y'all right now, man. Y'all walked after other gods, man. You know, and served them, man. Y'all forsook the most high. Y'all bought Shemir out the one who made y'all, man. The one who created heaven and earth, man, and everything in it, man. The one who created the waster to destroy, you know. He created the so-called white man to oppress us, man. You know, that's the most high's whipping stick for the nation of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Seminole Indians, man. You know, so that's y'all inequity, man. That's what y'all did, man. You know, y'all forsook the heavenly father, man. I have not kept my law. Yeah. And you have done worse than your father. Yeah, man. Our generation, man, that we living in, man, they done worse than our forefathers, man. You know, our forefathers, the ones who, who was wicked as fuck, man, in the wilderness, man. When the Heavenly Father had to destroy their ass, man. You know, you can say he destroyed two thirds of the nation of Israel back then, man. You know? Because what? And that's what's gonna happen to this generation, man. Cause they done worse than our forefathers, man. They waxing worse and worse, man. You know? And they bold as fuck with it, man, you know? They don't try to do it in the secret like a fucking faggot, man. You know? A, 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 a faggot homosexual, man. They used to keep that shit in the closet. They used to be ashamed about that shit, man. You know? Now they glorify that shit, man. You know? Folly is setting great dignity, man. And that's, a, that's one of the foolish things that's set on a pedestal hey, in this wicked-ass kingdom. If I did or said anything yeah. wrong, I apologize. Because I appreciate y'all out here trying to help us. All right. All right. All right. I, I thought I was trying to say something right, but evidently you got twisted. But I love you. I love you for what y'all doing. Okay. That they may not hearken unto me. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye they are your fathers. Uh-huh. Which is North America, man. Where we at right now, man. Serving this captivity. It's locked, you uh, And there shall ye serve for the God day and night. Where I will show 
It's luck. I will not show you favor. Yeah, the Lord ain't showing us no favor in this place, man. You know? You got Esau, the so-called white man, ruling over us, man. You know? Killing Jake out here in the streets, man. You know? They got us, uh, uh, they got all these wicked ass decrees, man. You know, got all these unrighteous fucking laws, man, to condemn fucking Jake, man. The Heavenly Father, he not showing us no favor in this place, man. You know, especially if you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, the ones who y'all Jakes, man, who doing good in this society, man, y'all being successful, y'all gonna have it the worst in the, in the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. And y'all motherfuckers must have did something super bad, you know? Because the most I he got y'all niggas in a trick bag for real, man. You know? He giving y'all all these uh, luxurious things, you know? Giving y'all cars, houses, you know? Status in this society, man, you know? Y'all gonna, gonna be worse off than the average Jake, man, you know? Than the average Jake, man, because y'all used to having that shit, man, you know? Proverbs 16 and 25, it says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, like that dude who was the sucker doing all that talking, man. You know, his ways seem right unto him, man. But the end there are the ways of death, man. He gonna get put to death, man. He don't even know it. You know, he was defending us doing that shit, man. Thinking he doing us a service and things of that nature, man. If you're doing us a service, man, you're going to be quiet and let the word come out, man. Because we're not speaking off our own understanding, man. We're speaking of the oracles of y'all was and y'all was right, man. You know, we're not going off our own opinion and shit, man. You know? When you come up here, man, you're supposed to be humble, man. Bow down and ear, man, and you're going to be taught, man. This nigga trying to teach us something, man. You know? And the end of his way is going to be death, man. The Lord going to consume that nigga, man. You might die of pestilence, man, a, 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 a famine. You know what it's for, man. You know? Yeah. It's Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. Yeah, by mercy and, and truth, man. Iniquity is purged, man. You know? Purged meaning um, reconciled, man. Basically uh, uh, covered up, man. You know? By, yeah, yeah, purified by mercy and, and, and truth, man. You know, by the mercy of the Heavenly Father that he gave us this truth back, man. You know, and we purging all this inequity in this wicked-ass kingdom, man. You know, starting with the so-called white man, you know. Because he couldn't get... It's not getting the original. It's going to be the ultimate, you know, the physical side when we do the spiritual. Like we was talking about the so-called white man, you get it right back. But like the scriptures say, the uh, wicked be revealed, the son of perdition. Done, man, you know? By mercy and truth, we consume all this inequity, man. The lies, you know. You can, you can stand right there. I sure so I want to do that. I hold your sword. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll bring that back. This is Proverbs 16 and 7. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. Done. Yeah, but like the brother said, that's the ultimate purge, man. You know? When your howl by Shimmy was shy, man, he set the missiles off, man. You know, when he let off the weapons of his indignation, man. That's the ultimate purge, man. We purging these 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 lies and shit too, man. You know, with the truth, man. With this word, man. You know, we destroying all that shit, man. You know? What you saying, purge is what? I, yeah, we we we, yeah, we purifying, man. We purifying all the fucking lies, man. You know? Got it. And by fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Yeah, by fear of the Lord, men depart from evil, man. That's why we stopped doing all the wickedness we used to do, man. Because we scared of y'all by some y'all shy, man. But two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they not scared of the Lord, man. You know? That's why they keep committing uh, evil, man. All these wicked acts in the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. They don't give a fuck, man. Smoking and shit, you know? Women wearing pants, eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. Committing adultery, man. You know, blasphemy in the Most High, man. Coming up against the men of the Lord, scoffing and things of that nature, man. They don't fear the Most High, man. You know? Yeah. They don't fear the Lord because they don't know the Most High. If they knew His ways and His judgments, they would fear Him. But they don't know His ways. That's why they don't fear Him. Yep, come. Go ahead, I. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse. You said 11, right? Come. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest until Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shine. And I trust also 
may manifest in your consciousness. Yeah, man. You know, by the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we coming out here. Come on.